I, th I think the person to watch is Zasalan, right? He plays these maps all day long, right? I, I, I think yeah, almost certainly. I, yeah. I think he's the favorite, for yeah. sure. <laughs> and, and he's, yeah, he, he wants to win this. He's played these kind of maps. And even in the chat, he was like, he was like, can you put your Chrono Miner on their, on their War Factory? Like, he's... <laughs> yeah, he's, can you all the War Factory? He's looking for every angle he can to win. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, that's Building. entertaining. You know, someone who's you passionate and really, oh. really trying to win. Uh, hey, so watch Plaza. Plaza makes him oil first. But here comes Soja's pussy Building. pushing in here with the uh, the Unit. early conscripts. Ready. But if Puzza can get a barracks out, get a couple dogs to counter this. Uh, okay, out oh, the bunker. Building. Nice bunker. Good. That super early oil for Puzza. I kind of like that build. It came out fast, too. Interesting. Interesting. What do you think of that, Ted? The, the, the oil first. Now we have to see how it plays out. Oh, Puzza for him in the walls. And Connie's. I'm not sure if he's even making fun of Okay, so, oh, and the uh, dog on the bunker, on the barracks, not good. All right, so he has a miner out. Uh, he, Ooh, that's a lot of conscripts. That's to, a lot of conscripts. He needs to use conscripts. his MCV. Yep, move the MCV. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, man. It's not looking that's good for Puzzle right now. Yeah, and Puzzle, he, he needs to be using his miner defensively. Ooh, alting on the War Factory. Yeah, gonna, it's that not going to help. It's not going to help. <laughs> yeah, he needed to use his miner defensively. Uh... Playing, playing with or against the Soviet players, the use of the miner is so key. You know what you're gonna do with your miner early game is really yeah. big. Yeah. No. So this is this is over already. Yep. Uh, yep. I mean, actually, Zoss doesn't have an oil yet. No, he does. Hey, he has two oils. I am blind. Never mind. Yeah, this is uh, this is completely over. Yeah, he's pretty. He's pretty broke though. Uh, <laughs> and Angie comes yeah, out. Yeah, the Angie. Oh, 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 the drone. The drone. Ha ha ha, GG. No way, he could, if he takes the MTV. Oh, oh, he hit. No, he didn't. <laughs> he the power. Oh, he can hit this. Hit the barracks. They <laughs> get each other's. Uh, oh my God, that's funny. That's funny. Meanwhile, his war pack being taken down. So if he would have clutched that MTV trap. Oh. Uh, there's. Oh wait, no, NG, you can't. You can't NG MTV. Oh, maybe that's why. Yeah, and so New other than France, uh, Soviet I think is a pretty complete. good advantage because uh, I mean that the war miner, the I Unit mean, don't, do you guys think right. Soviets favor generally speaking? Well, well, I think when we see this game, game here, that how it plays out, I think it's gonna show pretty good because we have France and Soviet right here. Yeah. Because yeah. the early, it's interesting. Like obviously, normally Soviet has an advantage because the rhinos versus the grizzlies, but in this case, it's actually we're seeing more. You, uh, you know, obviously infantry, in which case the GIs are out, are, are better. So, but I, I think the war miner honestly is a huge advantage uh, for getting that bonus attack unit while, while building up your tech. Although honestly, the the chrono miner has been getting a ton of kills too. So I don't. Know. Yeah, but look, this war miner completely cancels us yeah. from the GIs. This, uh, yeah. Nothing yeah. he can do about that. Uh, on the other hand, Zaslan is ahead on an oil already. But Poza gets his War Factory out, AFC out for Zas. We're gonna see what he can get done with this. Zas really needs to get that uh, cannon out. If he gets that cannon out right yep. now, he's... Yep. And and there's the minor block, by the way, on yeah. the War Factory. Okay. So he can't get his out. Out. Yeah, yeah, Power Plant is out. Oh, he's gonna try and get the AFC before you can get the cannon out. Not sure oh, can. There we go, the cannon is out. Oh, oh. cheesy, look at that though. Yep. How, how do you get that? You're gonna have to uh, wall your... Uh, and they uh, war somehow. Yeah, to or be fair, to be fair, Paf, or, or, you know, Jaz, he specifically asked me, I said, hey man, like, there's no rule against it, and he did it, so, <laughs> future reference. There you go. I feel like you got a Connie rush against the trans, right? What well, well, against the trans, the cannon, or uh, the alting? No, no, uh, the alting. So what, should we say no alting? I mean, we're already making No, 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 <laughs> I'm just saying, what can we do to prevent it from happening, like, I, as a in-game player? You have to build a sentry gun right at the door of your war factory, I guess. I mean, no, I think it's still, it can still climb. Uh, you can't put the uh, sentry gun there. No, I mean, if you put a sentry gun right there to destroy a miner that comes to all of you. Yeah, you're going to be destroying your own war factory with that sentry gun as well. Oh, right. Construction That's the whole point of alting. There we go. The alt comes down again. Oh, and another. You know, cannon. actually, okay. A, a Tesla trooper would actually work out pretty good because it does oh, do yeah. damage to the war factory, but it would do a lot of damage to the mine. Oh, so, watch. Yeah. yeah, Guardian GI or Tesla trooper. That's, uh, yeah, that's yeah. a great point. That's a great point. Jay Z, good to be back, man. Ooh, look, look, look at uh, Plaza building into Zasalon's base. He has a barracks right there inside <laughs> his base. We're gonna see if he can do anything with that. 
Uh, oh, there's a Ooh. there's a rocketeer, a veteran rocketeer already there. So yeah. that's a problem. Poza has a lot of money. What is he building exactly? He's just getting. In a power plant. Yeah, the elite. Oh, the NG there. Oh, he loses the barracks. Jesus. Another barracks comes out. <laughs> and he loses the other barracks. <laughs> oh, God. So he's got his oils and an MCV, which is running and might die. Alright, he gave up. He gave up. Um, pretty interesting. GG. Okay, so here's the thing. I, it's not really that big. Of, we could say no alting, you know. I mean, this is pretty devastating. In this, uh, we're gonna. It's gonna be a very annoying rest of the day, I think, with it. Um, well, well, Ed Ed said that Tesla troopers are a good uh, <laughs> a good counter to that. I don't know. I mean, I'm just guessing yeah. here. <laughs> I'm thinking. Um, I'm just trying to find a way to counter it because I feel like it's gonna happen to me. I'm not gonna really be doing it, you know. I think it's cheesy, too too cheesy to do, but. I don't want it to be done to me, so I'm gonna have to find a counter somehow. When you ult with a miner, uh, the tanks don't come out. But if you ult with tanks, then the, when the tank's coming out of the ship or whatever, the tanks kind of move out of the way. Oh, interesting. So only when a miner does it, yeah, tanks are just blocked. I guess, completely. I guess, all right, let's talk about alting for a second. The creators of the game put it in there specifically as a tool, as a mechanic to be used, or, or why does it exist? I think I think it's designed for crushing infantry or, uh, yeah, or grouping tanks. Oh. I don't think it's... Uh, right, and then you have to make buildings that are passable by tanks, right? Like refineries, because the miner needs to go onto the refinery. Or like war factories, because the tanks need to come out of the war factory. Yeah. Uh, so they, they, there's a thing in the INI files, which is just, you know, pa the passable area. Oh my god, Zass is just killing everything with this dog. Oh, that dog is devastating. Yeah. That dog was devastating right there. Hero dog. An elite dog. Yeah. Yeah, and so Puzza, yeah. uh, so Puzza now has shown everyone that the walls, you can't do the walls fast enough. It's just not going to work. Um, it's actually a decent idea. But the map would have to be three times as big. Is he gonna save this oil? No, no, the oil goes down. Pazza's way behind. Zas already gets his oil out. Well, to be fair, I'm not really sure what he's trying to wall. Like, he, he did, had no purpose there. He just wanted to create one big line, and then he changed his mind, then he wanted to cover the oil. Like, <laughs> well, he he's was just kind of all over the yeah. place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Plus, he lost all his GI, so I'm sure, I'm sure that kind of ruined his strat with the whole wall thing. Right, right, yeah. Position. You know, that's like Mike Tyson says, everyone's got a plan until you get hit in the mouth, you know? And in this case, <laughs> yep. Puzza had a plan, then he got hit in the mouth. <laughs> Plenty of time. Uh, yeah. Got to lose his MCV, and this is pretty much over. Gets a wheat. Uh, yeah, that hat. Just sitting outside of the barracks, like, <laughs> nothing Puzza could do. Yeah, how, how confident are you feeling about facing Zas? <laughs> I want to forfeit. <laughs> save, save the embarrassment. Can I just uh, back out now? Zess yes, is the king of these maps. <laughs> no, right? Ed, Ed, you got it. You got it. You're, <laughs> you're, you've studied him. You know what he's going to do. I mean, what, 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 what do you think? What is the move? Pushing? I mean, early. You got to go early, right? Construction. I, I don't know. I mean, Building. you you can't let the... New on such a small options. map, man. You got to, right? Construction. Cannon comes up. You're in big Building. trouble. Gotta go early. Point established. So what what do Unit you do? I mean, yeah, all right, conscripts are coming out, but GIs are coming out for Zass. Construction complete. Oh, uh, I really don't know, man. I mean, I really don't know. Yeah. What do you do in this chance? Uh, okay, interesting. Ed, Honestly, not going for the I, would send, I would send that war miner in. I would just start attacking okay. his power. Try to keep him low power as much as possible by whatever means possible. Like even backdooring with these conscripts, just hammer the power. Slow down his build. Agreed. If the cannon comes out, it can't do anything. Uh, Agreed. Agreed 100%. So it's going to come down to control here. Ed needs to send that miner onto those GIs as soon as it comes near. Because that's his miner is doing some damage. Come on, yeah. Ed, you gotta alt. Use the miner, alt the GIs. But the conscripts need to back him up. The conscripts need to back him up. He's gonna lose this miner. Not yeah. that much value. The AFC is already out. You're gonna see a power plant come out next and a cannon yep. immediately after yep. that. Oh, he Another oil first. Well. Interesting. Making sure he has his money rolling. Because he did, he did yeah. run out of money. Yeah. 
Yeah, he needs to push in here. He needs to get the, either that okay. AFC, the AFC is exposed, or that power. He's now, okay. gotta get now get the rhinos rolling. Get the rhinos rolling. Um, yeah, he's all that miner. Okay. That chrono. Spread out your the, the, yeah, you gotta spread the chrono miners is devastating. Uh, the second power is down. And here that means that the cannon is coming next. He's bought himself okay. a little bit of time with this build. Uh, oh, get, so the power, get the power. Get the power. Get the power. power. Yes, you get the power. Does he get the power? No, he doesn't get the power oh, on time. Oh. And he sells the cannon to build another cannon closer. Oh, he's gonna get the second power plant. Okay, okay. This would be nice. Yeah, he's gonna get it. But but Zaska builds another power pretty damn quickly, yeah. right? Uh, so yeah. Ed, Ed needs to keep the pressure on, get the AFC so they can't build cannons maybe? Yep. There we go, hitting the power and the AFC. Look at Ed's split ability, no, beautiful. Yep, yep, I like that, I like that. Oh, oh, and, and deciding to use that cannon offensively instead of... Oh, oh, still has enough power for this. Interesting. Crowds, yes, he built another power plant. Crowds that cannon. I think he could have gone for the power here. I don't uh, think I don't think crowding that with cannon With the infantry there, yeah. With the infantry there, he's in big trouble. Oh, oh and he's GI. Nah, he could have uh, stayed on the power. He, I think he could have... Yeah, yeah, definitely should have stayed on the power. He is going to try and flank here, but there are two GGIs in base. Going to try and get an oil here. Desperately trying to do anything. The cannon comes out. Going to get Ed's power now. Making, going to make him do a low power. Oh, it looks like he's radar. just out of range. Yeah, he's just out of range. He's having to... Uh... Yeah, but he's control attack oh, yep, rounds. Yeah. Yep. Oh, but oh. the second cannon comes up. The sentry right gun to counter it. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Path, these, path, these are random factions for the record. Brings out the Deso. That's called too little, too late. Oh, and it... And he puts up the wall for the cannon so the sentry gun can't shoot it. That's hilarious. Wow. Wow, yeah. So this is a win for Zass. Yep. France, man. France on this map. Yeah. It, really uh, but uh, I would say that... Um, Construction yeah, Ed, Ed did have... Construction there's a couple, Ed had a chance. Yeah. Ed definitely had a chance there. No doubt about but to it. Be fair, but to be fair, I don't think Jaws was playing it uh, perfectly either. So I think, you know, I mean... If you like France played perfectly, I think would be very very difficult to beat. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. but if France played with any margin of error, I think there is some ways, some gaps in the armor to really try to hit that power, uh, as we saw Ed try. So Jaws pushing in here with this miner, I think that's that's a pretty good move. The miners, this miner is pretty OP. It's basically a war tank on this map. Um, He's gonna go right for the power probably here. Oh no, it's continuing on. Ooh, and early tanks. We haven't seen that before. Low money, but he does get the oil out before he runs out of money. Yep, and Ed pretty much dead in the water here. All right, sorry about that. Yeah, so can, I'm can, thinking, uh, can you hear that's me? good with my audio. Yeah, yeah, I can now. Oh, that was weird because the chat could hear us both. You just couldn't hear me, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, that was uh, my audio issue. All right. So oh, and he I brings. Oh, he brings yeah. the prism though. Oh, if he can. Nice. Oh, this tank bunker though. Nice. Oh, no, oh, oh get this. So repair it. Repair it. Repair it. Okay. Oh, get that pillbox. Box. Well. Okay. Sell the sell the gap maybe. The, oh no, nah. those bunkers, man. More powerful than a prism. Yeah, bunkers are op op op. Because they're just insane, man. As the Gat gets elite and just melts everything. Yeah, and, he, and Ed has to basically pull back oh. right here. Yeah, he's going oh, to oh, power. Oh, he put the oil in a position where if Zaz destroys it, it's gonna be painful. Oh uh, no, but still not not hot for Ed yeah. at the moment. And those Gatling tanks to be able to rush with them and defend yourself from air. Uh, yeah, and an engineer comes out. Ooh. Problematic for Ed. Yep. Very, very problematic. Right, yeah, so that elite uh, tank in a bunker is going to be invincible at this point of the game. He needs prisms to try and deal with that. Alright, so um, here's the move. He still has that oil right next to the tank bunker. He needs to build a pillbox, destroy Ed. Oh, never mind. I was going to say, if he destroyed the oil, the oil would blow up the tank bunker. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Too the little engineer too took the oil. Yep. Yeah, the engineer took the oil. And he lost his war factory. Oh, Zass and... Oh, Zassalon is already teched up. Magnetrons are out. 
Ed is in a bad, bad position. It was that single Gatling cat, kit tank that got in the bunker, man. Like one shot. Yeah, and, and tank bunkers beating prisons, man. What, what is that about? Yeah, the tank bunkers are a little much. And it was it was so close to because he was so close to this. He was one hit away from destroying that tank before it got the bunker. Yeah, yeah, 100%. GG is called and it is over. Wow, so the factions are Ed gets Yuri, Yuri. Zas, okay. yeah, but Zas gets Soviet, and on a small map, Soviet counters Yuri pretty damn well. We're gonna see how. Uh... The problem is, and I don't think you were in it that last one when you and Path got Yuri. Ed said, "What's Yuri do?" I'm like, "I don't know. What's he do?" And, you, and, and Ed said, "I have no idea. I don't play Yuri." So yeah, uh, yeah, Ed doesn't play Yuri. So. <laughs> yeah, ready. Um, yeah, so. Unit yeah, ready. that's kind of the issue. Is that even though it might be, a, you know, Unit Yuri has ready. been a little OP. The problem is, uh, I don't know. I don't complete. think Ed's the most comfortable Building. with it. But new construction options. Waiting orders. Yeah, Building. well, let's find out. He Training. goes. Uh, Unit interesting. Goes miner first to help deal with these conscripts. Yeah. That's gonna be nice. Uh, he should be able to crush these conscripts, do some damage. Uh, okay, both go for oil next. Oh, but that miner's way out of position. He needs it on top of those conscripts ASAP. Those initiates are not going to be enough to hold them. No! No, Ed! No! Oh, Ed's in big trouble. That's it. The conscripts are in his base. They're going to melt his buildings. Ed, more units! Oh, he's pulling back. Ed, more Dying units! Back. Build more he things! Dog in first. All right, the miner's back in position to defend. Virus comes out. Interesting. Ed went radar first. Oh, I like first. that. I like that. Okay, but he needs to get rid of this miner. Okay, so who wins this battle? Yuri Miner versus uh, the War Miner. Who wins it? The War Miner wins, but it doesn't matter. The bunker's up. You know, the... Ah... Yeah. The... Uh... And bunkers do wow. shoot over walls. Oh, they do. Ah, oh, Ed, yeah. th Ed thought they didn't, but they do. Okay, Ooh. okay, Psychic Tower comes out. That's cute, that's cute. I don't get why the War Miner can't be, can't be taken over, because the War Miners have a human driving them, so why can't they be taken over? It doesn't really make sense. It's not consistent with the plot. Uh, um, it's not consistent with the plot. How do you know there's a human driver in there, huh? How do you know? He talks to you when you click it. <laughs> War Miner reporting. Okay, okay, that's that's a fair point right there. That's a fair point. Sentry guns are going to come up to deal with the Psychic Tower. The Psychic Tower is going to go down. He's going to get his tank back. He's going to come in, and Ed is completely, completely broke. No oils at all. Uh, this yep. is over. Sasalon takes the series and moves on. Ed did get his single win that he wanted to get, but unfortunately, he could have gotten more... Yeah, he got he, wow. he got a couple rough faction picks, and that's and that's too bad. And like I said, we lived and learned because uh, Ed was hanging and banging, and I would have loved to see some better matchups with him. But uh, Ed did sow his own his own uh, his own seed there because he was the one who who came up with the random. <laughs> All right. So Snark versus Austin. This is the. Wait, is this that you guys match point for Snark here? Uh, best of seven, so first to four, Snark's already up, 3-0 against Snark, so... Uh, and, and this is an even match right now, now we have factions, pretty good factions, and no desolators, so I think that's a good one too, you know? So, Libya for Sosland, and uh, Russia for Snark. And honestly, I think we all know it here, Jaws needs to bring the demo truck. Construction complete. Unit. Suicide this, this would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. He kills most of those. Uh, yeah. Not not a lot of loss. Not a big huge yeah, loss. Yeah. That, on that one. I feel like he lost more than he gained in that one. Yeah. Because actually, he did have you know, pressure. Because Snark is building smart. He's facing out those oils. Mm -hmm. Comrade. Well, these three right here. Are pretty, uh, I think oh, yeah. one of them might be. Well, anyway, we got lucky. That's close. One. That, that one at least was taken yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, he definitely got lucky with that one, because look at the rest of them, that next one to the MCV. But he, see, in order to get to that one, it's going to be pretty tough, because he has bunkers all around his base. Yep, yep, and Snark, I like that, slow it down, um, you know, anticipate a little bit of tilt from Jaws, anticipate him to get a little reckless, sit back, build up your bunkers, defend yourself, get your economy rolling, and then meticulously pick apart and destroy your opponent. Yeah, this reminds me of the first game, except the only difference is Jocelyn is actually set up nicely, or better than he was the first game, you know? Yeah. The first game, I think he was only on one oil. Right now, he and he couldn't make, he had a war factory, but couldn't even build units. Right now, he's hitting on 4K. He has four oils out, and his base is, oh, there it is. Hero reporting? Yep. Question mark? Yep, I think so. 
And no, uh, no air defense for Snarky. If you're up, it'd be nice for Jaws here. She does have the money. Even Choppers, actually. Choppers uh, oh, yeah. can shoot down those bunkers if, if they deploy from a distance as well, even if uh, he has air defense. Oh, that's right. Oh, and a Boris out. Okay. Gear of reporting. He had tried this the first game, but wasn't able to get anything done with it. And the Kirov out now. Um, Snark feeling the heat a little bit. He's going to try to press in. Ooh, Iron Curtain for Shots. We have not seen a super weapon yet. Boris going to get some work done here. Wow, Boris is not a yeah, big so oh, Snark feeling the pressure there. He's yep. just kind of going in. You know, he's, he has. He feels the need to do something. He's and he's matched with Rhino. I think he's at the right. And I don't think Snark has much to do here. Ooh, and, 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 and meticulously repairing him apart with that Kirov, that Boris. Now, the important thing to note here is that Snark, he has, Snark has it, well, okay, now he's losing important stuff. Yeah, yeah. But if he needs to target, target these, uh, target these oils would be nice. Yeah. Uh, why, why does that Kirov feel so strong? That is he's an had a little of flags shooting it. Okay, finally. I, I feel like it, it didn't Oh, work. here, here he comes. Here he comes. Unit lost. Unit ready. Boom. Okay. All right. So that was completely. Yep. And ja yeah. 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 Lud. Yeah. Jaws finally, finally figures it out. They moved away from the cheesy strat and went to more precise yep. build. And he seems to be improving game by game. So. Oh, and he picks up. He picks up France. If he continues. He picks up oh, France again. <laughs> He is the luckiest mother he's a guy that I've ever he's played with. He's getting nice draws. Um, <laughs> but for sure. now, now he learned his lesson last time. Last time he went. Uh, he went construction complete. He went too many. Yeah, he, he went too many oil. He New needs to, as options. France. You need to defend yourself complete. then walk Building. because the other player is New going to try to ram it down your throat. Um, so you need Unit to defend ready. yourself first. New construction yeah. options. How about some action? Unit ready. <laughs> Unit yeah, ooh, mentally, ooh. mentally, it is it's very oh. difficult. 4-0-ing someone is very difficult complete. mentally because Building. it's very difficult to bring Cancel. the intensity to that game in the first three okay. because Ready. subconsciously Ready. it doesn't matter. You know, you have that feeling that it doesn't matter. Obviously, that's not the right mentality, but it is hard to, you know, one person's playing for their life, the other person's playing to end the game early. So, uh, it's hard. It's hard to 4 someone. But, um, okay. Oh, hello, sir. So we got the little so we're have more here. <clears throat> okay, I like that. Good. Of course, can do. Don't know War Miner. It should be coming out pretty soon. Which, again, we've seen this before, yep. where they base trade, and it was a slave miner last time. But just yep. the fact that he builds a uh, miner that can shoot out infantry or shoot at infantry. Yep, the War Miner. But Snark does not control his Connies very well in the backside over there. He loses them all. Loses all the, the conscripts on the backside, and in the process, uh, so Jaws has now postured up with a nice base walk. He has money, yeah, he has the AFC, he bad. has power, and Snark has, uh, Snark has a handful of conscripts and a dream. And this is going to be this gonna be a rough one. Yeah, this is not looking good at all. Yep, Rebo, this, Reb, Rebo, this is the final. Snark went up 3-0, and Jaws won the last game, and now Jaws making a bit of a comeback. He's going to pull this one out as well. And it is best of seven for this final. Makes the seal, which will take care of the Connie very easily. He has the... Get him down there, get him down cannon there. Cannon had his base. Cannon's not shooting anything Unit at the moment, but I want to shoot one of those oils. Oh, nice. Okay. Building. On hold. Cancel. And still pushing Training. these barracks and trying to scan. Yeah, the, the, the cannon Unit could be destroying ready. his oil right now. Base is under attack. Not, he's not Unit quite ready. able to crowd the cannon with that Unit gun. Promoted. Unit lost. Yeah. And uh, I, I appreciate Snark. Uh, the warrior spirit never give up, never surrender. But uh, at this point, you can surrender. Player defeated. Yeah, just did you? You are victorious. Yeah, this would be. Uh, we got ourselves a game here, boys. Uh, Jas pulls that out. <laughs> uh, not bad, not bad. And so both players get France. New construction um, options. So you could potentially cheese, huh? Construction. Yeah, complete. this is very Building. interesting. New construction options. Construction complete. Building. New rally point established. Unit ready. I wonder what they choose here. We talked about um, spamming too many EIs, either committing or not, you know? 
Yeah. You can't make the medium. So they're both options. making GIs. Construction complete. Which means they either have to commit. It seems like both of them are committing to it. They're making a lot of GIs. And, and these so players, both they are not weaponizing their, their miner. And we've seen, that was so devastating early on in the day. And now that's, these players, they just forget about it. Yeah, but you know what? I, I feel like... I feel like Snark's um, build orders in this case are better than the refinery build immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might, you having might those right. oils immediately. Yeah. But once you get, but once you get the miner out, you get it busy. I mean, yeah, ooh, true. Can't, can't pick it up. Yeah, he does sacrifice. Well, he didn't really sacrifice. He just kind of died for no, no reason. Yeah, if if you're um, Soviet or if you're Yuri. I'd say, okay, yeah, a refinery is fine because you, you, can, you can use it on GIs or concepts or whatever a little bit better than you can a external miner, you know? Yeah. But in this case, Allied versus Allied, I feel like the path that uh, Stark chose was better. It, it didn't work out for him because he didn't control his units <laughs> as good, but that is the better path. Yeah, I think I think it is slightly better and it just kind of falls behind here on several accounts. Uh, and these elites, uh, I think we're, we're bringing ourselves to Game 7. Moab, Moab calling it out. Snark will lose this series. Uh, and yeah, Rebel's got to go. I mean, Jaws, Jaws lives and dies for these kind of games. Snark's been playing really good today. But obviously going up, 3 is the advantage. Yeah, he does have the momentum, though. The momentum's and, huge. And yeah, it's huge, and the thing, the opposite for Smart, you know, he's lost the last three games. You he don't want to lose. More like. You don't want to go into the final off. Going into the final off, three losses versus three wins is a radical shift in, in mentality, mindset. Yeah. Uh, and you don't want to have it, obviously. <laughs> We, we've known Snark not to be the tilt type too, so he could have to be been having fun, whether it's game one, two, three, four, whatever game, you know, he's, he's always chill. Whereas there's other players, you know, who, like Zoss, who do feel that, you know, intensity yep. and you can, his gameplay gets affected, you know? Yep, yeah, I think, I think you're right. I mean, Snark, I think Snark certainly has the mental fortitude to, uh, to pull out a comeback in game seven, give us a good show, but, uh, yeah. Unit ready. Oh, Zoss is really not giving up. Wow. <laughs> this is it. Yep. Championship. If you want to watch all games of this small tournament, then check out RA2 Cash Games Twitch. Link is in description. Let me know down in comments if you like such videos. I'll see you all in the next video. GG's.